Star Trek. <laughs> We've all seen it. Mm-hmm. We've all seen bits of it. Space, the final frontier. I am a Jane Wayne boy. A what? <laughs> I got into Star Trek during the Voyager time. Don't know what it was, but Jane Wayne, she was my captain. She always will be. I'll fight you for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching The Next Generation. Available on Netflix. Other streaming platforms are available. But they don't have it, so Netflix. Yeah, Netflix is if you want <laughs> Star Trek. Series 1, Episode 9. It's called Hide and Q. The Enterprise is a starship, right? Yes. That is on the way to save 504 people in a mining colony. They are rudely interrupted by a weird force field. Q entity, sir. Not now, damn it, Q. Starfleet Admiral Q at your service. He is fantastic. Star log entry. Star date today. This man is called... (laughs) John DeLacy, isn't it? James DeLacy or Summit DeLacy. John DeLancey. Oh, was... You seem to find this all very amusing. I might. If we weren't on our way to help some suffering and dying humans who... Oh, your species is always suffering and dying. He is Q. He is like a god. And he loves playing games with the humans trying to figure out, hey, human, what you like. You again seized my vessel. And that angered you, did it? Seized my vessel, seized my vessel. So he's a recurring character in, in Star Trek Next Generation. I think this is only the second, because he's in the very first episode. We don't have time for these games. Games? Did someone say game? He arrives, right? But his first initial form, have a guess what it looks like. Have a guess. If you were an omnipotent being, right, and you could just appear in any time or space, what would you choose to turn up as that's non-human in form? A tortoise. He turns up as a invisible sphere with little golden balls floating around and three, like, cobra heads that are mm, red. Right. Transparent <clears throat> sphere. So it looks like a... Yeah. Not invisible. Not invisible because you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Q turns up, says, I want to play a game. They're like, we can't play games. He said, yeah, you are. And they went, all right, we've got to. Because he can do everything. Yeah, he's like God figure. But you, Riker, and I remember you well, what do you make of my offer? He takes a liking to Riker. Right. Riker is sexy boy. He loves a pose. He does love a pose, especially in this episode, because in this episode, he gets gifted the ability to be a god. Send them the same way I do. I've given you the power. Do you understand? I have given you the power of the cube. I'm going to give you your powers. You do what you want with them. And then he's gone. Here's an army of some weird looking monster Monster soldiers things. <laughs> animal things that's how they refer to them in the script on more than one occasion use your power they're in trouble the the bastards are coming their way right and they're, all, they're all worried about it and he goes <laughs> he goes here you go and he puts up a net Riker, you did that yes and that's not all and that's not all. Really impressive. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I yeah. mean, impressive in a really hammerly <laughs> performed way because Riker is just so... He's bad. Oh, yeah. But I also love him because he's not a good actor. He has a chat with Picard and Picard says, don't use your powers. Riker says, I won't use them. I promise you. He goes to the mining colony and they unearth a dead girl. Right. And Data says, you could bring him back. And he goes, I can't because I made a promise. I'm prevented from that by a promise. Like really uh, salty. Like bitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. really salty. Now, Sass, before he, now, he has been very good with the captain. He loves the captain. Right. And already you're like, oh. I thought shifty at this point. It's going to his head. As soon as it's convenient, Captain. I want a meeting with you and your bridge staff. As soon as we are secure of this rescue operation, I'll discuss all of this new power. I thought shifty at this point. Interesting fact. Mm. Two children die in this. 
Two One children. of them get, literally gets stabbed in the back by, by a bayonet. That was on TV at like 6 p.m. Picard calls Q a flim flam man. He's nothing but a flim flam man. He's nothing but a flim flam man. <laughs> flim flam man. Flim flam man. Flim flam. Lieutenant Tasha Yar. She's chief of security, right? She just seems generally terrible at security. Yeah, she is bad. Like a lot of bad shit happens on the Enterprise. And I think people need to be start pointing fingers. She says to Q, because she's got assert some sort of dominance, because she's being totally like manhandled here. This game shall in fact be completely unfair. You've gone too far. Game penalty. He sends her into the it's where Picard is, right? On the bridge. And she goes, oh, God, I'm so frustrated. I'm being moved around and all this. And she breaks down and she has a bit of a cry. And then she apologizes because she realized she's crying in front of the captain. It is so frustrating to be controlled like this. Tasha, it's all right. Uh, what in the hell am I doing? C crying? It's a terrible scene. It's really awkward. There is a new ship standing order on the bridge. When one is in the penalty box, tears are permitted. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. It's bad. It's, it's bad. It's a horrible scene. Some of the dialogue is actually really excellent because Picard says... How the hell do I advise you? Well, you can't comprehend no. what it's like to... You are a god. <clears throat> anyway, he starts getting more egotistical and he calls him Jean-Luc. Of course, Jean-Luc. He does, and that's a, that's a big surprise. Have you noticed how you and I are now on a first name basis? Did you notice we're on first name basis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There'd be no harm, would there? If I gave them something I know they'd like. Oh, how touching. Riker then goes, I'll give people what they want. A gift as I leave. <clears throat> he basically gives several characters their dreams or their wishes, right? Something yeah. they want. There's a couple that are a bit silly. <laughs> silly how? Okay, so Worf, who is a Klingon, he gets granted a woman Klingon who is a, very... a sex toy. Well, she, no, well, maybe it's marriage. Who knows? I don't know what her intentions are. It appears to be like a traditional Klingon woman. This vicious woman goes to attack old Lieutenant Yar. Tasha Yar, yeah. Chief right. Security Officer. Wolf stops her, pushes her down and goes, No, that what? is not a world apart from me. I oh, fuck that line yeah, royally. That's, that's not. <laughs> She's from a world now alien to me. And it is, I think, badly delivered. And I think it's a terrible line. Is this your idea of sex? It's super judgy. Is that how you have sex? This is sex. This is it. This episode, I think, really is not good for Wolf. Just lets himself down. It makes he? him look weak. Yeah. And makes him weird. look <laughs> yeah. weak and like weird. He's trying to. Like, it makes him look like Mackenzie Cro Crook's character from The Office. I'm in the Territorial Army. Yeah. And I'm really taking it seriously, but they wouldn't let me in the proper army because I'm a bit. Macro head <laughs> with a micro brain. When he does the wharf leap, the bridge has like the banister bit of controls, <laughs> and he does this wild leap over it. Drop your weapons! I'm afraid that was me, Wharf. I was checking to see if the phasers still operate. Incredible, Wharf. You came out of nowhere. Incredible, Wharf. You came out of nowhere. And then Worf says, it's my warrior training. A warrior's reaction. Everyone else goes, yeah, that was like impressive. And it's like, oh my God, we're mm. meant to believe that was impressive, but it was embarrassing. Then later on, <laughs> he gets stabbed. He runs at this group of soldier monster things. Gets one of them with a judo chop. Gets one of them with a judo chop. I think he might get another, but then he's downed and he's stabbed. And he's like, I don't know what you were playing at, mate. And you, my friend, I know what you want. And then he offers Geordie sight, which actually is done really well. And Geordie looks around at everyone and takes everything in. There's a nice scene of him looking out the, the viewport at the front, at a, mm. like a planet with the stars behind. He compliments Lieutenant Tasha Yar. You're as beautiful as I imagined. And more. And then says, put me back to how I was. Yeah. He then begs for it. He begs. Well, he doesn't it. beg, but he, he says, says like, please. He says, please. I don't think so, sir. 
price is a little too high for me and i don't like who i'd have to thank he also then makes a like 14 year old boy 24 commander Riker. it's too soon for this <laughs> which is weird i feel like such an idiot in the end he goes i apologize i'm sorry i've been a fool quite right so you should and captain says yes you have <laughs> literally <laughs> yeah. just yes you have yeah, and then says knob. fuck off q and then q gets pulled back because he's mm. upset the rest of them the old q's mm. q continuum the q continuums right. and no, just continue just got it and then that is basically it that is the episode bang bang Engage. It is weird, and there is <clears> some <throat> very bad acting and stuff that happens in them that you're like, just don't do it. Just don't do it <laughs> instead. But the stories and some of the script is very, very good. So I sat and watched this episode last night, and then when we got here tonight, you had it on because Chris hadn't seen it, and I sat and watched the majority yeah, of it again yeah. and thoroughly enjoyed it again. I, yeah. d I can't recommend it high enough. If you liked it, click like, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel, uh, let us know because we can do more of these because there's 176 episodes available. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah. Well, I'm we'll, having flashbacks to bloody Twilight now. We'll, that was an experience. No. We'll see how it goes. Hmm. We'll see how many likes and subscribes we yeah. get to this <laughs> yeah. video. We'll see if this one bangs it out. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye, then. <laughs>